Fishing's a popular sport because of how exciting it is to never know what you're going to catch. Poking your rod into the deepest, darkest depths may catch you a boot, but even rarer than that, you may discover an entirely new species never seen before. Here are some of the most unique creatures that have ever been reeled in from the sea. Amazing. Swallowtail what you're looking at isn't some Chinese New Year lantern. This brightly colored fish is a swallowtail caught in the deep waters off of Kenya. Steve Wozniak caught this one pictured here, thought to be the current world record since it's the first ever submission received for this species. According to the very few people who have caught one, its colors are so vibrant they're almost neon. A rare type of oarfish. This fish, caught in Norway, is a type of rare oarfish, a long, strange creature that is sometimes called the king of the herrings. Silver but with a pink spine, the only previous examples found have washed up already dead, which makes this living specimen that was caught there truly unique. Unfortunately, they live in the deepest, darkest depths of the sea, so the fish likely suffered from barotrauma as it reached the surface and probably wouldn't have survived long. Siamese Twin Pike Pike are common fish present all around the world, but this one, caught in Lake Nipissing, Canada, appears to have two bodies connected to one single head. But was this a mutant roaming the water, a total hoax, or a case of mistaken identification? Commenters have said it may simply be two fish who went for the same bait, but one got its head stuck in the other's gills. If that's the case, then this went from being the freakiest fish by far to the dumbest ever caught. White Lobsters this lobster, caught in Maine, has all the qualities of a normal crustacean, apart from one key difference. It's translucent. Lobsters get their normal dark colors from certain pigmentations, but mutations and diseases can change their colors, or in this case, take it away. This lobster has a genetic condition called leukism, which causes a partial loss of pigmentation, similar to albinism. That's a one in a million catch, but even rarer is this albino lobster on the right. White lobsters like this are the rarest of the rare. One in 100 million lobsters are born albino, and as an example, in the state of Maine, over 100 million lobsters are caught every year. That means only about two of them are caught every year. Coelacanth. The coelacanth is a fish as hard to find as its name is to pronounce. Previously thought to have died out with the dinosaurs, it had been absent from fossil records for 80 million years. That is, until one was caught by fishermen in Indonesia. As well as being older than human beings, these fish are much rarer than most because, according to the most recent estimates, there are as few as 500 members of the species left. Speaking of ancient fish, Frilled Shark the frilled shark is what you'd draw if you were asked to come up with some sort of nightmare water snake. Previously thought to have died out many millions of years ago, fishermen in Portugal hauled a living one up last year and presumably all jumped overboard immediately afterwards. They can grow up to one and a half meters in length and have a triangular mouth filled with needle-sharp, toothbrush-like teeth designed to grab squid in the legs of any unsuspecting swimmers. Piebald Tarpon this fish has kept angling experts enthralled since it was discovered. It's a rare subspecies that had previously only been rumored to exist before being caught in 2014. This bright yellow oddity bears spots of unpigmented patterns. It weighs 130 pounds and took 45 minutes to land and was more than happy to pose for the cameras in this first documented case. Faceless Fish Perhaps one of the most mysterious entries in the list, this faceless fish was described by scientists as being more like two rear ends on a fish. But while this fish is unique, its features, or lack of them, are not uncommon. Fish from the deepest parts of the ocean are those living in caves where there's no light, often don't have eyes, and instead rely on bioluminescence to navigate. Despite this being known, it still surprised experts when it was caught. The fish was probably a bit surprised too, but you couldn't tell. An unbelievably blue parrotfish. Parrotfish are common, but it's not often you find one as vibrant as this one. Known for their beak-shaped overbite, which they use to grind up rocks, they're as goofy looking as they are pretty. But this one is so blue it looks like it's made of jelly, which means it's presumably really hard to spot in that water. Stoplight loose jaw. This creepy looking thing is a type of deep sea dragonfish. The loose jaw is so called because its jaw gapes open, held to its face only by a hinge-like bone. It looks part fish, part mantis, part surprised teenager spotting Justin Bieber on his hotel room balcony. 
The man in Russia responsible for finding this has his own Instagram account where he showcases the absolutely bizarre catches he makes, including this truly terrifying bearded sea devil. Loosely describable as a severed head on some tree roots, this and the rest of his photo feed look like someone tried to draw all the Pokemon while in the middle of a fever dream. Two-Toned Lobster Back to lobsters again, this one is two-toned. Though not as rare as white lobsters, split-colored lobsters are estimated to occur only once out of every 50 million or more. Cyclops Shark This one-eyed fish looks so much like a new Pixar character, it wasn't long before the internet was crying hoax. However, it seems to be a real catch, and the story of how it came to be is equally fascinating and tragic. This friendly-looking guy is actually a malformed fetus of a pregnant bull shark that was caught off La Paz, Mexico. Along with several healthy unborn pups, the Cyclops baby was discovered in the uterus, and the rest is internet history. Armored Sea Robin so called for their impressive set of scales, armored sea robins crawl along the ocean floor instead of swimming, using fin spines to guide them. This gives the impression that they're walking on small red fingers. They're edible too, at least according to the Filipino fishermen who caught these examples, which mean they are as delicious as they are crazy. Colossal Squid Colossal squid are extremely rare, often only found washed up already dead due to the fact they live in deep water. This particular one, however, was the first recorded sighting of a mature colossal squid captured near the Ross Ice Shelf. It was photographed alive in the water in 2007, holding on to a Patagonian toothfish. Then a month later, an impressive 10 meter or 33 feet long specimen was caught and became the first one ever recorded and largest extant cephalopod scientifically documented. Only 25 sightings have ever been made of this creature in history and most have been found inside the stomachs of its predators, like sperm whales. Amazing Orange Koi Ever wonder what happened to that goldfish you flushed? Well, it's back and it's been hitting the gym. Well, okay, that's not strictly true. What Raphael Biagini, pictured here, is actually struggling to hold up is an example of an orange koi. It's the largest of its kind to be caught wild, weighing over 30 pounds. They're related to goldfish, but technically not the same. Albino Catfish this fisherman from Manitoba, Canada made the catch of a career which has spanned over 30 years when he landed this albino catfish, thought to be a one in a million catch. He described it as his white whale and couldn't have been happier. The fish, on the other hand, didn't look too thrilled to see him. Blue Chain Pickerel Chain pickerels in their usual form aren't much to write home about. So called because they have a chain link pattern on their sides, this one that was caught in New York this year has been sending people away scratching their heads thanks to its electric blue head. Experts are stumped as to why it is this color. Did it eat too many Jolly Ranchers or was it just a bit cold? Nobody's quite sure. Blue Trout Despite the fact that the color blue isn't an advantage to animals who want to, you know, not be seen and then eaten, there sure are a lot of blue fish around. For example, sometimes an incredibly rare mutation can happen in both rainbow and brown trout that turn them blue. Blue trout when they occur will often be kept on hand by trout farms to impress an audience as they occur only approximately one time in a million. Trout come in so many unusual varieties that one man photoshopped a trout he had caught in an attempt to fool the internet. Still, that's a beautiful fish. Golden Trout If you came into this list knowing nothing about the humble trout, then buckle up, because here's one more. There are a few precious examples of ambitious fishermen who have managed to catch one of the rarest of trout subspecies, the Palomino, also known as the Golden Trout. Crossbred over generations from a rainbow trout and a West Virginian golden trout, they're known for being a sparkling gold color. They're described as sneaky but also sensitive, which means this fish also has the worst online dating profile on record. Blue and Silver Mahi Mahi In Mexico, Mahi Mahi are called Dorado, or the golden one. And for good reason, because out of the water, they're usually a vibrant greeny golden color, though they can slightly change shades to match their mood. But occasionally, though very infrequently, they'll come up as blue as the sky. This one, an enormous specimen with a bright blue mohawk of fins, was caught in a resort in Southern California. But even rarer than one in blue is one in silver. This one caught in the Sea of Cortez, for instance, is an especially rare catch. Swell Shark Sometimes you may wonder if nature is just trying to have a bit of fun at your expense. This fish, landed off the coast of Mexico, looks like a sunburnt turtle who left his shell in his hotel room. It turned out to be a swell shark, an animal that lives in the Pacific Ocean and fills its belly to escape when approached by predators. So a lot like me at high school. 
Before I reveal the next example, you should subscribe if you're enjoying the video. We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Black Lake Sturgeon this black lake sturgeon looks more like the shadow of another fish that's just off screen. But despite its shiny, unrealistically black coat, this fish is very real. According to the man who caught it, it's the first example of one caught since they began recording fish populations in the South Saskatchewan River in 1964. Rare Golden Bass the golden bass is so rare that academic articles are getting written about it. Thanks to its golden color though, its chances of surviving in the wild are slim to none. But try telling this little guy, who looks determined to survive no matter what hook bait is dangling in front of him. Its golden color is partially due to a mutation. Typically bass will produce a pigment that merges with the sunlight to make them go green. But this example lacks that ability, meaning that while others dim, it shines. Shine on, you crazy bass. Megamouth Shark A lot of creatures in the ocean have big, freaky mouths. The Megamouth Shark is an impressive example of this. Keeping to the deep water, they feed on plankton and jellyfish, which they lure in with small lights known as photophores. Since being discovered in 1976, fewer than 100 examples of this incredible creature have been filmed or caught, which makes them one of the rarest creatures on this list. It seems that the Megamouth Shark, despite its appearances, is good at keeping a low profile. Red Cornet Fish the only fish in this list that can be both eaten and used as a javelin, the cornet fish is something very special. Though they normally grow to be about a meter long, this particular example is on the extreme end of the spectrum in terms of size. Caught off of Hawaii, one of the first things you'll notice is that its mouth makes up the majority of its body, with only a cursory addition of some fins at the end. Its long mouth helps it reach narrow places and corals for the stuff that lives in them. But if you think its mouth is weird, wait until you get a look at its toothbrush. If you thought the fish in this video were interesting, then you'll be surprised to find out what would happen if megalodon sharks were still alive. Click the link in the description or the card on screen now to watch the video.